Hello everybody and welcome to another Back to the Basics 316 video. I am Brian, your host. Today's verse is found in Deuteronomy 7.15. Deuteronomy 7.15, it's a little long one. Deuteronomy is one of the first books of the New Old Testament. There's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. It's called the Pentateuch. The Pentateuch. Learn a new word today. Deuteronomy 7.15 says, The Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 the Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 The Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. One more time, one more time. Deuteronomy 7.15 the Lord will remove from you all sickness, and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt, which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. What this verse is talking about, it's a promise that he's given to the people of Israel. He says he'll remove from you all sickness. I remember when I was a kid, um, I was eating some cereal. It's called Life Cereal. I don't know if they make it anymore. Life Cereal. It was real popular at the time. Life Cereal. And it was in the shape of a little biscuit, about a half inch by half inch. Anyway, I was having a bowl of that. I didn't let it soak up because when you let it sit for a little while, it softens up. And I bit down on it and it got stuck in the back of my mouth. And I didn't think I had to pull it out and everything. Well, over time, something began to grow. It's called a tumor. And it got bigger and bigger and bigger. Finally, I was somewhere where they could uh, perform surgery and have it removed. Uh, I had to go under an anesthesia for it. The only thing I remember was they had me count backwards from 100 down to, I think I got to 97. And I was out. I don't remember anything about the surgery. When I woke up, you're, you're goofy, you're goofy. There's this big dial on the, on the wall beside me. And I think it was a blood pressure thing. And it's got the little uh, bulb that you press for air pressure. I was praying to that, watching the thing go back and forth. Hey, this thing go back and forth. This thing go back and forth. And the nurses around there are taking care of other patients that just got out of surgery. Anyway, he removed that sickness. The tumor didn't, didn't come back. It was non-cancerous. It was just a, a growth. And he will not put on you any of the diseases of Egypt. In other words, if somebody else gets a sick, a sick, you won't. Right now there's a disease running around, uh, like for the flu, the flu. If I take vitamin D in the winter, I don't get the flu. It doesn't, it doesn't come on me. If I don't take vitamin D, I get the flu. So in our time, am I going to take vitamin D or not? I'll let you decide that. But he'll lay them on those who hate you. If you hate Christians, if you hate Jewish people, this verse says that you could be prone to sickness that you don't want. My advice is to repent of that. Let's do this right now. Let's just pretend that there's something that, that you hate somebody and you need to repent of it. Lord, I just right now admit I hate so-and-so because so-and-so did such and such. And I just renounce that in Jesus' name. I, I forgive them and I repent of my hatred. In Jesus' name, amen. You may have to do it a few more times, a hundred times. Just keep doing it. Okay, let's do this verse in parts. Deuteronomy 7.15. Now say it with me, say it with me. Deuteronomy 7.15 The Lord will remove from you all sickness and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known. But he will lay them on 
all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 O Lord, we remove from you all sickness and do not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known. But he will lay them on all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 The Lord will remove from you all sickness and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known. But he will lay them on all who hate you. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord, I pray for my friends and the people watching this video that you remove from them all sickness and not put on them any of the harmful diseases of Egypt or any of the harmful diseases that are going right around right now. But you lay them on those who hate you, Lord. We're not trying to curse those that hate them, but that they will confess their sins and repent. And if they hate anybody, Lord, that they will repent of that. And Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, let's go over this verse a few times real slow together. This is real important. Memorizing a Bible verse is just, it, it, it's a habit. It, it, it takes some, uh, some sacrifice. Reading the verse over and over and over and over again, sharing it with people. If you take this verse and you share it with somebody, you'll find out more about this verse than you even know about it. Because revelation comes when you're explaining it to people. Deuteronomy 7.15 The Lord will remove from you all sickness and not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 The Lord will remove from you all sickness and he will not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known, but he will lay them on all who hate you. Deuteronomy 7.15 the Lord will remove from you all sickness and not put on you any of the harmful diseases of Egypt which you have known, but he lay them on all who hate you. Well, that's all for now, and everybody. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button because hitting the like button helps promote the video. Remember, Jesus loves you. He died for you. He wants to save you, and he is coming soon. God bless you, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.